Camouflage is not olive drab clothing with lots of pockets and a matching top with more pockets with boots that are polished and all that jazz. Camouflage is defined as anything that allows you to blend with your environment. Camouflage, the whole purpose of it, sorry, I'm on a back road. The whole purpose of camouflage is to make you unnoticeable. Shape, shimmer, shine, all that stuff. If you don't live in the forest, then camouflage is more than four colors. Go into town, see what the peoples is wearing. That is your camouflage. That is what you ought to be wearing. Unless your goal is to stand out. In times of strife, being a peacock is a terrible idea. The last thing you're trying to do is attract a mate. Because if you attract the wrong individual, not only will you get more than you bargained for, but you will get fucked in a way you ain't ready for. The idea of camouflage is strictly to blend in. Strictly to not get noticed. I know I said that already, but it bears repeating. Your goal, if things go south, is to be as unnoticeable and unrecognizable as possible. Because the last thing you want to do is be a target. You paint that big old target on your chest, you are not getting out of Dodge. You paint that big old target on your chest, and now all of a sudden, your goal becomes far more survival driven than just existing and being happy. If you're in survival mode, you're probably not in thriving mode. I know that sounds a little quaint, but think about it. If you're wasting a shit ton of time, well, I thought I had an opening, but this dude's fucking fast. If you're wasting time trying to keep the blood inside, you're not doing a lot of your other goals. Woohoo, made that one. When things go south and you're out of fuel, you're out of gas, your car shits the bed. I'm not talking like an amp and like the world just fucking killed you. I mean, like, you bunkered in place because of an event. You've utilized some of your safe, safely stored food and, and logistical means to, to and like, elongate your ability to stay. And now that stuff has either run out or the place that you've bunkered in is no longer safe. You need to move. Nine times out of a hundred, when that decision is made, Nine times out of a hundred, when that decision is made, you can no longer move expeditiously and freely. Things have degraded. A mob has formed. Starbucks is getting smashed. All of that means that you either have to look hyper-aggressive, which not everyone is capable of doing, or... You have to blend in with the surroundings so well, nobody views you as a threat or target of opportunity, or even worse, a mobile supply chain. When things go south and people have not planned as well as you have, you will get two kind of problems. You will get hangers on, people that did not prep but know you prepped, and they're like, I'm gonna come to your house when things go bad because you got all them guns. The other type 
is not the hanger on, it's the grabber on. It's the dude that has spent his life with like two boxes of ammo, a piece of crap Keltac, and their, their mentality is, well, you collected all that stuff for me, so I don't have to. You just been storing it for me. I got this one bag of ammo. I'm gonna go and get your stores of ammo, and I'm gonna keep it for myself. Those people are just as dangerous as the hangers on with no skill sets. So when you're moving amongst these masses, you have to look as benign as possible, as untouchable as possible. A sniper in an urban environment does not look the same as a sniper in a urban environment. Oh, wait a minute. That's a repeat. Sorry. A sniper in an urban environment does not look like the sniper in bleh, brain ball fucking pain. Sorry, folks. That's what happens when you're concentrating on driving. A sniper in an urban environment does not look like a sniper in a rural environment. This, the guy that's all camied and gillied up for that is not going to do well in a city. It's just the way it works. Conversely, a, gu a guy dressed up in a trash bag ghillie suit would go really far. However, it's hard to travel when you're built, when you're, you look like a walk-in trash bag. You kind of blend. You don't blend anymore. You stand the fuck up. So find the people that nobody wants to touch in your environment. Find the homeless folks. See what they look like. Because those folks are generally super resourceful. Because they live their life every day without resources. Find the folks that you don't normally notice. The janitors. The cleaning lady. The, the burger flipper from Kmart. They don't really have Kmarts anymore. They certainly don't flip burgers, but you guys get the idea. I'm old. Don't judge me. I mean, it, shit. That brain fade I had like 30 seconds ago wasn't evidence that I am not a young man anymore. Okay? Yeah, you should figure it out. Go out Observe your surroundings. Find the things you wouldn't recognize normally. Find the things you don't normally pay attention to. And then pay attention to them. That's the stuff you need to pay attention to. That's the stuff that's going to allow you to blend. Go do that. Go blend. Be safe. Have a great day. I'm going to go get some fence posts so I can put up some chicken wire so the aminals stay the hell out of our garden. Be safe. Be kind to each other. Don't fail a paternity test. <laughs>